Let's get rich, what? The GK Vines and Sugar Dimes can't quit, what? Now pop the caucus, lean the Vega and get lit, what? 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 Introducing Phantom of... Hey, 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 it's Gorilla Forilla, your best buddy. Yep. Whose class will I be in? Shaban Abi Jabi. Okay. Um, it's the M240 with the grip, and it is, uh, with Stop and Power Slide of Hand and probably Ninja. Most of these classes have Ninja on them. I need to change my sensitivity and all this stuff because my little brother likes playing on default. And he always changes the sensitivity to something else. I don't know why the hell I had to use a tactical insertion. I hate tactical insertion because I always forget to use them. And when I do use them, I feel like I just. There's seriously like there's no advantage. Right there is me forgetting to put my sensitivity down. <laughs> and this is also my first game of the day. Why do I always have first games of the day on Carnival? I don't know what that is. Um, it's, uh, this gun, it doesn't shine too much, like, it definitely puts people down quick, that's one of the things I like about it, if you shoot them, they're going down, but the chance of someone getting away from this thing, it's unlikely, this thing's a beast. I, th I actually think it's the, the saw from COD 4, I, I want to say it is. But I don't want to see. Look at that. That was like two shots. That was nuts. And this thing's got a super high recoil, low rate of fire. You could get away without even using grip on here. Look at this thing's like an ACR on crack cocaine. But um, at the only reason why I don't like this thing, it's an LMG, and I just I just don't do LMG. Too slow. Too slow. I like to move around a lot. My favorite my favorite guns to use are definitely SMGs. I use assault rifles to be Alright, I like SMGs, but what I mean by that is I like the UMP silenced. <laughs> and just because it's fast and it's a decent SMG, it's. People say the SMGs in this game suck, but then they also complain about the UMP being too good, which is, doesn't make sense to me at all because the. The UMP is as good as it is. If all those submachine guns were that good, then it'd make so much more sense. Because uh, they juice the assault rifles in this game to hell. To the point where they're just like destroyers. And so they have these crazy ass overpowered... I hate those clowns. I hate them in this room. The one I just knifed, I hate them. Okay, they have all these like overpowered assault rifles. And they're going to keep the SMGs just as shitty as they were in COD 4. Or well, not shitty, just the same as they were in COD 4 pretty much. Except, in this game, people are more likely to not use stopping power, so they are definitely weaker. Because they don't want to use stopping power on the SMGs anymore. And, um... <coughs> so, yeah. The UMP silence, it's a... It's basically just like the submachine gun you want to use against assault rifles if you want to have a chance. Because assault rifles will smoke you across map. And the UMP, you can tap shot, which you just like click the trigger like using an FAL or a semi-auto. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely not trying to rush with this gun at all, just because the mobility is so low. It takes so long to zoom in the sights. Well, except with a sleight of hand, I can, I can zoom in a little bit faster. It takes so long to reload. And, uh, but, you know, other than that, it's a good, like, uh, defense defensive gun I guess laying down some cover fire like I can see this being definitely it can shine and like demolition when you guys gotta defend the bombs definitely a gun to use would be one of these or maybe a different LMG this one's really good for longer range the iron sights are decent it's like using an M16 M16's iron sights <sighs> I'm always yawning in my commentary I promise I'm not this tired of a person in real life I don't know why I do that so much I just I get tired when I commentate, but um, yeah. So if you like the M16 tights, or if you're man, if they're manageable, then go ahead and use this. <clears throat> it's a, it's. Uh, I don't want to know if it's one of the top LMGs because there's only five LMGs anyways. The best LMG has got to be the AGH bar because it's like an assault rifle just beefed up a little bit. And um, the the 
if you guys weren't sure what's the point of LMGs, I was like, why would they even have LMGs? They don't make sense. They just make you slower. But the reason for LMGs is, see how I just shot through that wall? No FMJ. They have so much penetration power. The bullets on them are actually, like, in a, it's like they're built in FMJ. So putting FMJ on these guns, semi unnecessary, unless you want to just be like a crackhead nutso where you just kill people like mofos and yeah. Um. Yeah, so that's one of the benefits. Another benefit is these guns have like unlimited range or close to unlimited range. And I know you guys seen the range um, stats on the um, that was bullshit. By the way, this kill is such bullshit. Um, the the range they have like the highest range out of anything but a sniper rifle, which means the range is your bullets damage will like. It, like decrease over over distance so that's what range is it's power over distance basically so let's say like at close range with an SMG I can kill someone in three shots and across the map it'll probably take about six shots because I was traveling through air it's uh, loses velocity and it's um and it, I'm trying to hard scope this guy since I don't have sleight of hand oh wait I do have sleight of hand I don't know why I was trying to hard scope him then um, <clears throat> forget I ever said that. Uh, so the, their bullets damage doesn't drop over over time. So you can use these on the maps like Wasteland. It's definitely if you're not a decent sniper, you don't like sniping on the Wasteland. I definitely recommend using an assault rifle. I mean, a, an LMG and tapped firing. Just line them up. Maybe bling it with like a uh, like a holographic sight, or maybe even ACOG if you like that, which I personally hate. COG four had COD four had it right. This game ruined it. Um, people complain that the that the crosshair and the ACOG since it's a triangle, it's too hard to use because it's a triangle. I don't know if to put them in the middle of it or on the top. Blah blah blah. I suck at cause this game. I suck dick at real life. Blah blah blah. Anyways. If you go with this, or the ACOG, go ahead and use it. And I died by that claim one because I'm using an LMG and I'm just too slow. But uh, this gameplay, I don't get, uh, I don't get oodles, oodles and O's of kills. Um, but, but you can also blame that on the fact that I'm not using uh, pretty much any kill streaks that are. I'm using three, four, five. I have UAV. Oh, let me get another kill, and then you guys will see what I'm using. We, oh, counter UAV. I'm not using. I don't like care packages because they get stolen, and then that just makes me want to slap a baby across the face. So I don't like care packages getting stolen. So I just don't even use them at all. Counter UAV is actually a really good for uh, kill streak because it um, it's just as all right. It's just as unbeneficial to the other team as UAV is beneficial to you to your team and people know that you guys should know that UAV if I had to rank like number one kill streaks in this game UAV would probably be number one it is the best kill streak because mm, because it's the easiest to obtain and it and you get so much out of it it's not just like you're helping yourself well I'm gonna get five kills from my attack helicopter yay no you're gonna get your whole team Kill death ratio is probably gonna jump up a few points just from putting that UAV up. Not like the overall kill death ratio. I mean, the kill death ratio just in the game. Your team can be more aggressive. You know where they're at. So UAV definitely the number one kill streak in this game. Sec second, probably the Pavlo. <laughs> that thing does too much work. Unnecessary how much work it does. It's not even nice what you do to people when you're using the Pavlo. But yeah, um. This gun can be good for building kill streaks. I don't like using pretty much anything without sniping power unless it's a SMG or a, um or like the FAL. Okay, you guys saw the FAL in terminal like that had the hard line on it and it was doing fine. But pretty much everything else, it just has to have with stopping power. I can deal with the UMP no sniping power. I can deal with most SMGs with no stopping power. But just assault rifles. They just have so much range, and I don't want to risk that little window. 
Because when you're shooting something from a long range, you have a window of opportunity where you have to kill them. It's basically, you're going to see them and then they're going to move behind something, especially on something like in this map. You always see people moving back to back, unless they're camping in like a window. But, um, <clears throat> I don't want to give them the opportunity to duck down and save their own life, or I don't want to give them the opportunity to just run past and me not be able to get the kills, just get a bunch of hit markers on them. They're going to end the game with like 15 assists, I'm pissed as hell. But, yeah, um, assigned power and assault rifles and... LMGs, snipers, definitely. It's very highly recommended. And 33 and 8. Wasn't really playing that objectively. And I didn't have like any good kill streaks on, so can't blame me for not that much kills. But that's the best I could do, Siobhan. So uh, check out my next suggested class. Peace.